right on cue. It is curling off of the mid-Atlantic coast. And you can't help but notice, too, another little wrinkle there producing snow in South Carolina and into North Carolina. But this is our uh, part of the storm right here. And the dark shades of blue, that's where that snow is really coming down heavily. It's snowing everywhere, but especially in those darker shades. Long Island and Jersey Shore right now, I'm talking to you. We have heavy snow reported from West Babylon to Oak Beach, Hempstead, all the way out to Suffolk County as well. And of course, everything that goes along with a big storm system, those gusty winds. And you can see Southampton as well in the deep shades of blue. This is a sort of a banding effect that we typically see with these big, big storm systems. Boy, we have that on the radar right now for areas of Monmouth County and right along the coast here into Ocean County. So from Tom's River, Forked River, all the way down to Stafford, Atlantic City, Cape May. And we're starting to get some of those snow totals in and already really, really impressive. Tom's River uh, from a, a public spotter, 10 10 inches of snowfall, Aberdeen, a half a foot of snow, Neptune City, just over five and a half inches of snow. We're right there as of the latest observe, uh, storm spotter observation, Brick at five and a half, and Freehold Township at 4.6 inches of snowfall. <clears throat> And we'll continue to see over the next few hours, along with those banding features, maybe one to two inches of snowfall per hour over the next few hours. On top of that, it is dangerous cold air temperature. One thing, of course, we have those gusty winds. 21 in Central Park right now, 26 in Islip, 10 in Poughkeepsie. But winds are gusting already 20 to 30 plus miles per hour. We've got nearly 40 mile per hour gust at Islip. So you factor that in and it feels like 11 in the city, feels like one in White Plains and a wind chill right now in Poughkeepsie with some light snow there at seven below but some of those areas seeing that heavy snow right now Belmar it feels like nine degrees so Rafi definitely one of those aspects going forward that's going to be really important people are going to try and get out later to clean up it's going to be brutally cold that's right Maria and uh, when you see a storm like this typically you're you see these big totals that are coming our way you want to get ahead of it and start shoveling during the storm well if you do that you're going to be dealing with dangerous cold and uh, these wind chill values this is your wind chill forecast through the rest of the day and what Maria showed you with those wind chill values below zero, we're going to see more of that through the day. That was 10 o'clock. This is 7 p.m. as the snow is over or mostly over and you're trying to dig out. It feels like one below to 14 below north and west of town. So dangerous cold. And if you have any exposed skin, you can get frostbite. All right, let's take you hour by hour through the next several hours. 6 a.m. We still see the darker blues, the heaviest snow bands, the bands that Maria was showing two to three inches per hour across Suffolk County, moderate snow in the city, lighter snow north and west. By 7 o'clock, this very gradually shifts east. 8 o'clock, more of the same. It's still snowing at a steady clip. And notice these temperatures in the teens, a very fluffy snow building up hour by hour. 9 a.m., it's still snowing out there. And heading into 10 o'clock, we're tracking those heavy snow bands across Long Island. This is why we're expecting uh, the very large snow totals that we are well over a foot for much of Long Island and the Jersey Shore. 8 to 12 inches in New York City, much less less as you head in the Hudson Valley. But again, a blockbuster storm really just kicking into high gear. We're going to have much more coming up in just a few minutes. Pat and Gus. All right, ref, just getting started at 504 and you can track the storm right along with us by downloading the free NBC4 New York app and we'll push breaking alerts straight to your phone. And of course, we have a team of reporters spread out across the tri-state area. All of them in the snow. We begin with Weekend Today New York's Jessica Cunning Cunnington. She is in Riverhead, Long Island, Suffolk County, under a blizzard warning. And Jess, yeah, it's coming down. Pat, it is coming down. Good morning, guys. We are definitely getting some snow here, and you're feeling it blowing in your face. Not a lot of people out here right now, but you can absolutely see how much that has accumulated behind me. We're right here on East Main Street, right in the middle of Riverhead. Uh, obviously, all the shops are closed down right now. We saw one man walking, and I ran over to him, and he said he's getting together with his friend right now so they can start plowing and shoveling uh, a neighborhood of homes and their driveways so they are getting to work because they know it's going to be a long day and 
as you can see, you can see the wind. I, this is the part of the blizzard that makes it very interesting and makes it an actual blizzard. You're getting the wind, you're getting the low visibility because the snow is blowing. Um, and, and that's what we've experienced out on the roads in driving very slow in getting over here, driving not very far, thankfully. We have seen a ton of different plows coming through at least this area. I mean, I'm talking at least seven in the last 15 minutes. So that is a good sign. But as you can see, this is the blowing snow. It's very light and powdery snow, as we just uh, heard from our storm team there. So it's it's fun, you know. I mean, I'm kicking it around. It's very easy. It's not heavy. It's not wet. But there is a lot of it, and it is blowing down. And we are feeling those winds, and we're uh, we are seeing it coming down significantly and very quickly. So again, we are very early into this. So this is going to be a whole day's worth. So stay indoors. We hear that blizzard warning, and it is not a joke because this is what we're seeing and it is very early on in this storm. We're going to be keeping an eye on everything out here in Suffolk County and specifically here in Riverhead for you this morning, but I'll send it back to you guys for now. Jessica, I appreciate that. And yeah, it's going to be a very long day. That snow coming down sideways and visibility is really an issue. It was even late last night. We appreciate you, Jess, and see you in a little bit. Thank you. We're going to go to a Point Pleasant Beach uh, live report here now. Jersey Shore also under a blizzard warning right now. Up to a foot to 18 inches of snow expected in the area. Out there beyond us right now, there, there is an ocean there, we promise you. Weekend today in New York's Brian Thompson is tracking the situation at the shore, and he'll join us live at the top of the next hour. And take a look at the Long Island Expressway up just a single Staten Island Expressway. I do beg your pardon. Governor Hochul issued a state of emergency for several counties, including the Bronx, Kings County, Queens. The uh, city could see up to 12 inches of snow today. As you can see out there on the Staten Island Expressway, not a lot of traffic. And that is the good news. Yeah. New York's today. New York's Erica Byfield is live. She's in Columbus Square here in Manhattan. And Erica, we want to take a look at what you're seeing out there. Good morning. Good morning, Pat. I have to tell you, I keep saying, wow, 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 the snow is just pelting me in the face. I have to tell you, it's probably not a surprise we are in New York City, so there are a few people who are out and about. I just happened upon this gentleman here. His name is Mel Santiago, Pat, and he told me that he's actually walking right now to 68th and York. You know where we are right now. That is a long walk ahead of you, Mel. Why are you going that far? I got to work. I have to go and um, I work in Memorial Sloan Taylor Hospital. It's a cancer hospital, and um, I work in the kitchen. So my patients have to have their meal. Whatever happened out there, out here, I mean, I got to get to work. Mel, you told me a second ago that the bus driver essentially told you that he wasn't going any further from where he was at 72nd Street, you said? I got off on 72nd Street, and um, I usually take the bus on 65th and Central Park West, and um, they were not crossing. They were not crossing, so I have to walk. I have to get to 68 New York, so I decide to walk. But the trains are running late, uh, 30 minutes apart. I cannot afford to get late to work. So I have to walk all the way from 72nd, you could say that, to 68 New York. Wow. Mel is a dedicated New York City employee. Mel, we have to thank you again for what you're doing. Obviously, those patients there at that hospital need to get something to eat this morning. We also want to let you know we've been out on the roads. Pat, take a look at some of this video that we shot earlier today. You can see some of the activity here in and around Columbus Circle. We saw uh, a lot of people obviously moving the snow off the sidewalks and moving it away from the roadways as well. I, just over my shoulder right now, I can hear a plow coming through that's attached to a sanitation truck. We also saw a few people who were stuck in the snow. These are the people who were driving and probably should not have been because their wheels were spinning. They weren't going anywhere. My very brave photographer, Katie Berry, jumped out of our vehicle, helped push a U-Haul uh, back onto the road, essentially. That was not before, though. I have to tell you this, Pat. This is why people should not be driving. That truck was backing up and ended up slamming into a pylon, breaking Ooh. the back portion of the vehicle. Oof. Obviously, not sure why somebody was out with a U-Haul at 4 o'clock this morning. That's what that person was doing. Thankfully, mm -hmm. Katie was here to help that person out. And thankfully, Mel is also here to help Ooh. the people out here <laughs> in New York City who have things to do this morning. That's what's happening right now from Columbus Circle. Erica Byfield, back to you. 
All right, Erica, thanks. That's what we do. We all come through for each other. Uh, tell Mel thanks and buy him a cup of coffee if you can, if you can find a place to get one. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to turn now to New Jersey and our Jen Maxfield, who is out in Hackensack. And Jen, I left that area uh, late last night and it was already snowing, even though just a quarter of an inch of snow on the ground, it was already a, a little difficult to drive, especially stopping. How are you finding the roads there? Well, Pat, much more than a quarter of an inch of snow now. We're talking about several inches. Kind of hard to keep track of it, though, the way that this snow is blowing around with all the wind here in Bergen County. It's interesting that you mentioned finding a cup of coffee just a moment ago because we did it. We're here at the Coach House Diner, open 24 hours, and there are people here, even at this hour, cloud truck operators taking a break. We know they've been working all night to get the roads clear. So let's take a look behind me here. This is Route 4. Um, uh, route 4 East is uh, closer to us. That's Route 4 West across the way. We, again, we have seen the plow truck operators out, and you can see they're doing their best. It's all a matter of time, right, because the snow is coming down in a pretty steady clip, and even once they do plow a lane here on Route 4, the wind is picking up this powdery snow and putting it right back down over what the plow trucks just treated. So you saw two cars go by there, people taking it easy here on Route 4. Uh, they have plowed a lane in the middle of the highway, but still not completely clear. And I would note that the secondary roads have barely been treated at all at this point. Of course, it is Saturday. Not that many people need to be out at this hour, but we know, as with every storm, some people are out at this hour. We do want to take a listen now to some people who are both working and dining inside the Coach House restaurant, even on this snowy Saturday morning. I do. I have concerns because I know the people coming in in the morning are going to have a hard time, so I know I'm going to have to be in it for the long haul in the morning and just be patient and let people get here safe and then I can get home safe. I'll work on that when I when I get there. This is her first big snowstorm. We were just talking about snow angels, so we'll see if we can make one of those tomorrow. Right? right. Baby's first snowstorm. <laughs> yes, baby's first snowstorm. The Castellano family out with their two-month-old this morning with her first snowstorm. But again, people are out and about this morning. If you don't have to be, certainly stay home. And Pat and Gus, it is freezing out here. So people really do need to bundle up. Pat, I know you like to talk about how many layers. It's a four-layer day for me. And I have a couple others in the car okay. in case it gets colder as the morning goes on. That's the latest live from Hackensack, New Jersey. Now sending it back to you. I was a little concerned there, Jen, just four layers. I mean, it's it would be a seven to eight layer day for me if I was out there, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Stay warm. And uh, if you need to add them, let us know. We'll give you a break so you can get that done. <laughs>